Well, okay. Uh, and welcome back, people. To session two of... I don't even know what episode we would technically be on anymore. I think we were on like This would be episode eight. four, you said. No, no, but remember we did Civ before in the past. Well, this isn't the same playthrough though, now is it? No, but still Civ. Mm. You know, that's like saying... This, this brings up an interesting debate here. So let's say that in the distant past, a YouTuber decided he would go and play one game in particular. Yeah. And then, for some odd reason, he just stops playing the game, and the game changes a lot over a number of generations. Uh-huh. Well, then he comes back later and plays it, and everyone's like, yay, he's continuing his series, but all of his progress has been lost. Is that still the same game playthrough, or is it something different? You know, I, I've always been on the fence about this issue, and, you know, I, I'm like, I don't think that is the same. It's really not, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like uh, you buy two pairs of shoes that are exactly the same, and you wear one for three months, and then they get worn out, and then you put on the other pair that's exactly the same. It's not the same shoe. It's a different shoe. And you're right. Yeah. Anyway, tangent over. I'm going to come over there and stab Charlie. Mm. Where's my great general at? Oh. I really wish I could have turned on animations as well. Yeah. Because that, that's something I was I was looking to do, is to enable animations. Yeah, I did bring that up last time. We can't really see which way captured units go, uh, as long as animations are turned off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that, Charlie, and know, I kind of wanted to see the attack animations mostly. So Charlie, you know how much money I got now? How much? Uh, I got one thousand six hundred and fifty-one gold. I'm sitting here using a great general as a scout because it costs nothing. <laughs> I'm still losing money so fucking bad, and I'm so far away from a golden age. Yep. I'm trying to build roads now. It's not looking good for poor Charlie's art, is it? No, and it looks like in one turn I'll have a cargo ship built, which means I can start stealing from Venice again. Stealing? Start generating money from just showing up and leaving. <laughs> Literally. That's what, I, that's what I thought, yeah. I mean, you can get luxuries that way, too. I don't think so. I think you manually have to trade luxuries. Now, if it was a city state and you're trading with them, that is the case. But, oh, oh, I just noticed something. What? To my south. I didn't even realize this. There's a source of sugar. Fuck your sugar. Putting your dick in my sugar, please, Charlie. I will. Don't Nobody think I wants, will. No one wants dick sugar, Charlie. It's, it's not good. Don't hmm. think I won't. Oh, maybe you don't. So, Charlie, where have you been exploring exactly? I've been heading to my east because I found another continent. Hmm. Interesting. I did not want. I, I should not have turned this way. Shit. I I literally walked right next to a barbarian encampment. Nice to know. I do also now have a cargo ship going. I hate that um your trade routes doesn't don't light up on the map as they travel. Uh, they do have a uh, when you select them though, they do have a um blue line that shows the trade route. Yeah, I know that, but I wanted I wanted it to like expose more of the ocean. Oh right, yeah, they don't uh, they don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, the Koreans are sitting there converting my cities. 
They killed my great general. Who killed? Barbarians? Yeah. Oh, Immediately. Well. So, Charlie, here's a thought for you. Yep. Um, seeing as how you actually have been exploring to the east half of your uh, continent, and we both know that we're in near the southernmost hemisphere, part mean, of the hemisphere. I went west Maybe... as far as Venice. That's where well, I kept getting stops is at Venice. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying to you here is maybe you should consider going north. Well, it's all water. Hmm. All like there's one spot near Venice that may jump over to another continent, but I can't confirm that. But I know England has been here on a non deep sea ship, so I should be able to get to you by foot somehow. Yeah, probably. Well, not by foot, by shallows, you mean? Yeah. Scouts have no maintenance cost. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It doesn't tell me the maintenance cost for building anyone. Huh, okay, well. So what are the names of your cities again, Charlie? Um, Mother Crew. Mother Cow and Mother Fish. That's it? Yes. What are you going to name? Uh... What are you going to name Dandelos when you finally capture it? Huh? Venice. Oh. What are you, you going to name Venice? His name's Enrico Dandelo. Um, Mother something. Motherfucker. You will name one of these, motherfucker, or I will destroy you as soon as I find you. Hmm. No, wait, no, I don't want to replace that tile improvement. Okay, boats move that way. You know, I wish I could just coordinate all the naval units at once and tell them, okay, everyone move this way now. And they, they all would, you know. Mm -hmm. I wish that's, that's a feature that they would have, but they don't. So I don't know if I want to send both my cities to the capital or if I just want to send my one city to the other city. And then to the cap. If I connect... Okay, question. What? If I connect, say, Mother Crow to Mother Fish and Mother Cow, and then connect Mother Fish and Mother Cow to each other as well, that way it, kind of, it makes a triangle, so that from either city you could go directly to the other city. That's good for Do... travel and free trade and all that. But what... You but see, does it, it does it increase the amount of connection, city connections to a city? No, 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 oh, Charlie. Okay. There only has to be one road connecting any city to the capital. That's the only thing that really matters for roads. Now, I like to have all my cities interconnected because I usually run a pretty vast empire. And yeah. when you got all these interconnected cities and all that, it makes it a lot easier to move security around. Now, that being said, when it comes to using roads as an economic thing, they do have an upkeep cost. And when they have an upkeep cost, you have to, you know, counterbalance how much money is this connection going to gain me compared to how much money is this connection going to cost me. Well, that's why I was asking, because yeah. I, I gain money from connections as well yeah I everyone. get very small boots yeah I think it's like two to four depending on what you've chosen um some do my religion 
Or is oh, it no, um, not even not or, even or just religion. Mine does it too. Yeah, no, that's why I always do it. You know, it's a good idea to connect your capital to other cities. I know that, but I get a bonus from it. Oh. I think that's good. I guess. Yeah. I've always done it because it makes moving troops a lot quicker. Well, yeah, obviously. Moving troops is easy. Makes it a lot more streamlined because then they'll also always want to take the same route. Oh, look at that, Charlie. I found Gandhi. Hey, talk about um, diplomacy. I can now adopt another one. You mean treatise. Diplomacy what? is when you're co communicating with another nation. Sorry, policy. Treatise, the, policy. Yeah, policy. That's what you want. Policy, that's the term. Or barbarians. Great. Apparently, uh, Sejong must have some pretty impressive... Um, Navy. Why? Well, I just kind of passed him by. <laughs> He's got a lot of dragon boats. However, from what I'm noticing hey, is... Hey, I'm gaining gold. Somehow. Oh, well, that's wonderful, Charlie. I don't know how I'm gaining it. I don't know what I'm doing to gain gold right now. Well, look at your uh, look at your upkeep costs versus the money generated. Well, I know that much, but let's see. It's now ten on on unit maintenance, uh, twenty three on building, and then two spent on tile improvement maintenance. So oh, oh, there. oh, oh! Because I've got that trade going on now, though. Yeah, exactly. You have a trade going on. That's the benefit. That's right. Do you remember back in the day when I was all about not eating food on camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When did I stop doing that? <laughs> was it season two of Minds of Insanity? Well, yeah, obviously. We got hungry. We needed snacks. Come on, Barbarian. Don't do it. Oh, thank God you didn't do it. Do it harder, Barbarian. Do it On so what? very hard. I have a civilian over there? Yeah, probably. Well, I lost a worker. I didn't even know I had. Yeah. Seems about like something a Charlie would do. Oh, now I'm making four gold a turn. Choose production. Choose production. Well, no, I don't need that. Uh, oh, I know why he was over there. It's because he was heading to the pillaged horses. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. why'd you stop? Me? What? Uh, gosh darn it. My builder. Leave him alone. Things can fire upon an... Uh, and... There's a friggin' archer there in the water. Yeah, go ahead. Come up on shore, see what happens, archers. Yeah, you'll see that swordsman standing there. Now you all shaking in your damn boots. Yeah, I found Gandhi. Good for you. Pretty far across the ocean at this point, though. I've still only seen Elizabeth and Dennis. Well, yeah, but that's because Elizabeth has technology where she's, like, really good for moving around in the ocean. And Venice, well, you know, they're a boat city. Yep.
Yeah. You know what would really suck? What? Is if you were a landlocked Venice. I don't <laughs> think Venice can be landlocked. Well, what what I'm saying is, if you didn't spawn on the coast, you know, mm -hmm. that would suck, really. Yeah. Because what the hell are you going to do? You're Venice. What do you mean you're landlocked? Well, shit, how's that going to happen? You know, you can't do a whole lot of trade without access to water. Because if you don't have anybody nearby, you know. Yep won't have anyone to trade. Yep. However, you build roads to everywhere, everyone you can. Yeah, there's just one problem with that. What? Uh, what if they didn't have anyone to build roads to? You know? And you have no one to trade with. <laughs> exactly. Imagine the worst possible scenario... Also, the most unlikely scenario, because it almost never happens, is yep. you're playing on the Earth map, and you, you choose your to, to be Venice, and then you spawn on Australia inland. Yeah, I mean, you can always just move outside, though, before, um, before settling. Yeah, you could, but that would put you real far behind other sieves. Oh, look, hey, I, I, found, sa I saved my workers. I found a British trireme. That's probably the one I found. Probably the one that was over here by me. Isn't it like the only thing she has left? Well... To be honest, I, I think it is actually because uh, I don't see her name on the map anymore. Do you? I don't know. I never saw her name on the map to begin with. I see her. Huh? Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't, I know. don't think I was... she's in the game. I think I just killed her. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't able to see her to begin with. Well, I mean, I would be able to see her. Yeah, because you saw... Well, no, because I saw her boat. Yeah, and it, you're her right, boat. it is no longer there. Yeah, so... I guess she's dead? Well, then. That was kind of mean. Well, you know, I declared war on her, and... and she's not even destroyed. in my... She's not in my civilization list anymore. Huh. Great, you just killed the only threat we had. Yeah, Charlie. Mm, it's not looking good for Charlie Land. No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a little torn as to which one of your cities I should destroy first. Probably Motherfish. Well, that one. I hate, I hate that one the most. Why? I don't know. The name irks me. Moving 15 ships at a time is a big pain in my ass. I'm going to go over there and convert Venice. You're going to convert Venice. Oh, that's wonderful, Charlie. What are you going to conv convert them to? Fuck Charlieism? Ah, now I get to adopt a policy. I think I know what I'll adopt. I'll adopt, uh... Sticking your dick in an ant hole? I'm now losing money again. What the fuck? I, I know, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. That's, that's what you deserve. You deserve to lose money for that crack right there. Yeah, I think I did wipe out Elizabeth. Let's see if she's still in the World Congress. Oh, wait, we haven't found it yet. No, we haven't seen enough players yet. Better speak for yourself. I've seen four. Hell, I know for a fact that Washington is to my north. 
No, wait, no, what? It's not what. It's Montezuma and Bismarck. Yeah, because there's apparently a shit ton of people up here. Remember how I said we were in the southern hemisphere, right? Yes. Well, there's a whole bunch of people up north. I know, because I'm literally driving right past them. You have I did actually found a city, find a you city. You have discovered state, guilds. Yeah, I found Jerusalem. Oh, fun. Yeah, it's a little island out in the middle of the ocean. Only got... It has a mine, and it has cotton. When my military spending goes down, I'll probably put a lot of points towards making them my friend. Actually, I'll probably make a city right here, so that'd be a pretty good spot for a nice trade circle with them. I'll have to get on to that, yeah. After you guys finish constructing that trading post, I'll have you start making a road. Okay, next turn. Come on, Charizard. You're taking too long. Good. I'm deciding productions. Mm -hmm. Trying to get them lined up before I run too much out of money. Shouldn't you be... Oh, look, Gandhi's got a settler, and he's heading for the coast. Quick, capture the settler. No, Charlie, I'm not going to hurt poor little Gandhi. He, he's like the special kid of the school. He, he's not going to fight with anyone. He's just going to sit on his continent all alone. Because he is all alone. I thought you said your continent was small. No, this is a small continent. I'm sure he's not on an island. Well, it's not really an island. Mainly because I've circumnavigated. Is that really? He's the only guy on there, is what I mean. I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it from the coast. So unless there's another one city sieve. On that island, he, he's alone. Could have a city state with him. Well, I mean, obvious. Well, we don't really count city states. True. I mean, it's not like they're competitors. They're not trying to dominate the world. Not like us, anyway. An unknown player has met the Renaissance oh. era. Hey, I'm no longer losing gold. I'm now at just straight zero. Which doesn't make sense because I have 40 in total expenses and 39 income. Well, the game's throwing me a bone here. I know why I'm losing gold. It's because I'm building roads. Roads have maintenance cost. Duh. Yep. Hurry up, Alex. You're taking too long. No, I'm not. I just ended my turn now. I should have. I should have put on a turn timer of one minute. Charlie, I never would get anywhere if you did that. That's why Mainly it's so great. So, in other words, y you're like, oh, I'll specifically design a rule so that Alex won't be able to properly move his massive navy over here to just jam a gigantic di digital dick up my ass. Gee, yes. that'll be swell. <laughs> that would absolutely be swell. It means it takes you longer to get prepared. It means your yeah. lube moves a little slower. I'm sorry, would you like to repeat that? You hurt. I mean, you could always just, you know, tell them to move to all a single location at once instead of Telling them to move individually every single well, turn. Well, the problem it. Well, the problem with that is, Charlie. They move at different speeds. I want them all to arrive at their destination at the same time. 
And then some you... of them were produced then... after they already left. And you also have to realize, since I'm not able to go in deep water yet, I have to stick to the shallows. That's also Which true. means I'm basically like riding a, so a uh, you know, catwalk here. It's it's not it's not so easy to move a gigantic oceanic fleet across the place. Oh look, I found Dandelo. Why are you finding everyone, you piece of shit? But yet you haven't found me. Uh, well, obviously, because you don't share the same continent as Gandhi, but Dandelo's ship has rounded the continent. Because <laughs> this continent is massive. I mean, this is definitely not your continent. Because it is huge. No, because there's, like, nothing else on my continent. You know... I think you may be wrong. Why is oh, that? look, I found Antwerp. Antwine? Well, Antwerp. Antwine. Hey, I found salt. Oh, great. Now I gotta wait for Dandelo to pass by. No, this might actually be a good spot to settle. I got silk, horses, and salt. And a lot of forest. And a lot of water. Including fish. Yeah. Salt is a useful commodity, provided it's not actually marble. No, it's salt. Okay. Damn it. Stop capturing my civilians. Yeah, that's right, Dandelo. Move out the way. Gotta get my boats through. I'm about to discover someone, but I don't know who. You don't know who? Not well, yet. how do you not know? What color is have... the border? Hold on. It's, uh, the border is like an orange with a green inside. That is Gandhi. Well, I'm right on the other side of his continent. Yeah, I'm rounding the top of it right now. <laughs> I got some it's scouts me about the cross. turns to do that. With a fleet of 14 ships. Why you got so many ships? Damn. I think you know why. I mean, a big old oceanic fleet takes time, Charlie. It takes a long time. Yeah, but I found the city of Antwerp along the way. I'll probably be the first civ to make contact with everything and be the founder of the World, uh, World Congress. Fuck you. <laughs> Provided Sejong doesn't... Uh, Beat me first. to it. No, no, no. Not attack first. Beat me to it. Why would Shazong beat you? Because Sejong has a whole bunch of dragon boats. Oh. Yeah, that's why he's got all those points. And that's why he's ahead of me by about 11. It's not about it is. Silly boy. So if I attack, if I attach one of my cities with a road to, say, Venice... Do I get a bonus for that as well? That depends. Do you have any traits that specifically give you a bonus for attaching a road between two different civilizations? I have no idea. Well, here, I'll tell you this. If you make a caravanissary in one of your cities, like Motherfish, for instance... Mm -hmm. um, wait, which one did you say was next to Venice? Uh, the one next to Venice is Mother, Mother Crow, but Mother Fish is on the water, and it's actually the one currently trading with, um, Venice. Okay. Well, what I was gonna say is, if you get a land trade route with Venice... Hey, I found India. You found Gandhi, yes. We, we discussed this. He's not uh, making any... No, he's losing 51 gold per turn. Holy shit, and he has zero gold. Yeah, Gandhi is in bad economic shape. I, I kinda knew I that. think everyone is. Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no, I'm doing quite well. I'm getting 85 a turn, and I got 1,080 gold. 
Okay, so I'm... his... So I didn't even find this capital, I just found one of his other cities. Capital slightly uh, north. Let's see. Astronomy. That's good. Yeah. Uh, harbor. Choose production. Uh, forge. Choose production. God damn it, I hate having so many things to choose. Okay, next turn. But that's what I get for running an empire. Oh, wow. I see one of Gandhi's settlers got captured. Just casually passing up a Venetian trireme. So, real quick, what does doing diplomat on, a, on, a, on another city with a spa do? Oh, uh, basically... Whenever you get in the World Congress, it'll tell you um, if they're going to vote one way or another on um, an issue, and you can basically make trades with them, saying, hey, look, I know how you're going to vote. If I give you this, will you vote differently? Ah, and I'm all of a sudden losing four gold a turn. Great. Don't know what changed. Claps for Charlie. Just start making markets. Here. I kind of have. I'm going to give him an embassy. And he's losing 54 gold a turn. Could give him 54 gold per turn. Why can't I open borders, you? And yeah, Gandhi's pack. now doing much better now. <laughs> I haven't done anything with him. Yeah, but I gave him 20 gold a turn. <laughs> he was losing 54 a turn. Yeah, now he's only losing 34 a turn. Well, hey. He won't open borders with me. He won't open borders with me, that little bastard. What little bastard, Gandhi? Yeah. Well, probably because he knows better. Well, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to go through. I'm trapped on a little. I was trapped on a little peninsula outside of a city. I couldn't go around without getting back into the water, which takes up an entire move. Well, what's the city called, Delhi? No, it's the one right below it. Oh, the one right below it. Okay. Yeah. I got my spies in Delhi. That's where I, I put got, my spy. I got an embassy in it. Oh. Yeah, also. Yeah, I got him I to accept embassy. my embassy. I also did that. That way yeah, I can see I don't capital. think I'm going to try and conquer Gandhi. I think I'm going to make him a puppet state. Yeah, he's going to be like the Shoshone were to me. They're my little pet, completely surrounded by me on all sides. And just completely helpless to the whims of the outside world. Yeah. And be real sad when Montezuma finally catches wind of their existence. Because that bastard will fight absolutely anyone. Oh god, these Galeas take so long to move. And you see, the problem here is, I know what you said earlier, right, about how you should just tell them all to move to one location, right? Yeah, 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 where, where, where you um, select them all and then you just kind of click and it, you, know, you give them orders for future turns as well. But you don't got to yeah. tell them all to go to your final destination, you can tell them all to meet up close by. And then yeah. move them all to the but final destination. what I'm saying here is I can't see where they're moving. <laughs> See, there, therein lies the problem. I'm unable to see where they're moving because it's not discovered yet. True. Yeah, I can. I couldn't tell you where they're moving to because I haven't been there. Could be land. It could be sea. It could be a giant tilapia named Earl. I, I have no idea. And yes, Charlie, a giant tilapia named Earl. Please try and keep up. 
I wasn't questioning. You should have. That Why? Was a test. You've clearly failed. Okay. Eh, what do I want to Waiting for players. Hey, Charlie, guess what? What? Your icon just appeared. Oh, good. Means you're about to enter my field of vision in a few moments. Good. Yeah, I see a little piece of salt here. Maybe I should bring a settler over. Fuck you. Don't take my salt. Hey, your icon appeared too. Yeah? Are you on the water? Uh, well, you could say that. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I see you. There's your scout. Yeah, I see a little, a little Russian scout out there. Too bad I can't trade with. I can't get your embassy or anything from that. You can't. Attack your boat. Well, the thing is, you can't really attack my boat either. Why not? Because <gasps> you don't have range. You're a scout. Scouts I, don't have range. I can get in the water and jump up there. No. No, not really. That's right. Take out that guy. There we go. Okay. Choose production. I need a university. Choose production. I need universities. Okay. There we go. I'm only making 37 gold a turn, but then again, that's because uh, I'm giving a good bit of it to India. You know, gotta gotta give that foreign aid to somebody. Oh, look, what's this? The Behringer Crater. You getting nervous, Charlie? Nope. You getting nervous about what's going to happen soon? Nope gonna have that one little scout sitting there in Gandhi's territory. Nope, I'm actually traversing across the land now. Well, I... To get to well, your I... continent, hopefully. Well, there's a problem with that. What? I didn't move the entire fleet. So? I left the other half waiting in the water. <laughs> Right between the connection point. Okay. You won't make it through. <laughs> Ooh. I found a great prophet. Spread fuck Charlieism. And by the way, my continent, right across from Gandhi, if you go around the northern side, you'll find mother fish. Well, considering the fact that the southern side is surrounded in ice, I don't think that would be much of a problem for me to do. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't go around the south side, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, Charlie! What? Tile owned by Metal007. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Where well. do you see that message? Oh, uh, when I hovered over it with my mouse. I think I'll just stay right over here for the moment. Oh, they're playing some Middle East sounding battle music. I uh -huh. like it. Things is about to get very ugly between me and you. <laughs> so 
Venice has the better trade route. Still, somehow Venice has a better trade route. Oh, I could kind of understand because his, his C. It's Venice. Well, I mean, Gandhi's uh, city on the sea is pretty small. Gandhi's cities are pretty small to begin with. Like, there's, he's got the pyramids. They're not really developed. Yeah, they're not. He's got the pyramids and oh, something shit. else. That'd be okay. it. Yeah. I still don't see oh, you over by my city. At oh, all. I see what he's got. Yeah, he's got the mausoleum of Holoconarsis. I wanted to build that. Because it's very useful for the um Well his city just changed. Well, he obviously changed eras. Changing eras makes your city look different. Didn't you know that? Yeah. I found more of his cities. Yeah. How many cities does this asshole have? Okay, there was a barbarian encampment over here not too long ago. Where has it gone? Uh, I think you know where it went. Huh? I think you know where it went. Gandhi's forces walked in and destroyed it. No, not over there. What? Over here on my continent. They've been over here oh. raiding me forever now. And I finally Maybe. get sick of it and I go over there to destroy them and now they're just gone. Well, they do naturally despawn after a while and move to another location. Mm. <laughs> Here, spread religion to Hastings. Mm. Banking. Probably want a monument there. <laughs> Culture. That'll need a. University. I have completely wiped out Venice's religion in his capital. Well, that's wonderful, Charlie. It'll be such a shame when it won't matter. No, but he converted one of my cities. That's why I did it. Yeah. So I, now well. I can die peacefully. <laughs> what? You know what? I won't wipe you all out at one time. I'll make that deal with you. I won't wipe you out all at once. Why do you want to wipe me out, damn it? Because that's how I win. I take you. Why me? Because you're the only other player. I can outsmart everything else in this game. But I'm not even a threat to you. You say that, and yet you tell me you've gotten a profit now. Yes, that I'm about to completely get rid of by using his last charge on another city. No, no, no. No, no, no. Profit is in money. Oh, no, I'm losing money now. I'm now minus four. You were gaining money, though. Uh -huh. And that's a problem. Charlies aren't supposed to be gaining money. Charlies are supposed to be losing it. Because that's how Charlies are supposed to be. Broke. I got, broke. I got horses and bison right in the middle of three of my cities. That is just absolutely, like, I'm probably never going to ever touch them. Because they're perfectly in the center of all three and they're just far enough where I don't think the city will ever expand that far. Oh, it eventually will. I once took over the entirety of... No hey, look! Washington's ship just passed right by you. Oh. I didn't yeah. even see it. You haven't been watching George... Yeah, you can you see his icon? Yeah, can now. Yeah, yeah, he just passed right on by you. Kind of a shame, too, because uh, he's blocking my way. I think we both ended our turn at the same time. Yeah, basically, yeah. So, Charlie, any last words? 
Uh, yeah, why would you do this? You know why. Why? That, that's because India next to me. Because I can. Hey, looks like I should have gone down there. Okay, George, get ready for a show. <laughs> George is over there on his boat like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm over here barbarian hunting. Got one more shower straw. Okay, let me get a forge. Then I'll be out oh, of shower straw. Interesting. Say Zhang is constructing the Globe Theater. Oh, minimize the damn tab again, I swear. That function annoys me. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, you know why. I'm I've already got an this. army of barbarians to myself now. <laughs> I know, Charlie, but guess what? <laughs> it keeps getting worse. <laughs> why don't you do me a favor and kill those barbarians right there next to me? Okay, you know what? I will. Can you even reach him? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got range. I think. No, no. He's on the other side of a hill. I can't fire over it, sadly. Granary. Next turn. There. That make you happy? Did you actually kill him? Yeah, I killed that barbarian horseman that was destroying motherfish. Actually, he hadn't destroyed nothing. He was just loitering outside of my city. Bothering me. Oh. Well. You're welcome. Thank you. Now I'm going to go to to the encampment and kill it. But literally, slightly over to the um west, I got another city. It's landlocked. That has got an army of barbarians next to it. I'm heading to what I believe is their encampment. To destroy them. Great person was born. Begin the golden age. Okay, Charlie. Well, you know what's about to happen. I have to find more barbarians because my luck just sucks. Hey, did I? No, I did not. Why? Mmm, the sweet, delicious smell of war. Why did you attack my city? Uh, you know why. <laughs> because without it, you are powerless and therefore weak. There's no point in attacking my city there. Literally no point. I'm no threat to you. You've got other people right here next to me that are probably more of a threat than I am. What? You think I'm going to bother with broke ass <laughs> Enrico Dandolo? <laughs> I'm just as broke. I'm actually worse. Oh, please, Charlie. I don't have any gold. Let's not drag this out further than it needs to go. <laughs> then don't attack me. Well, you know that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's all it takes. Oh, Charlie. So naive. <laughs> okay, let's begin opening fire upon Motherfish. <laughs> uh, no, no. Not ready to be 
attack yet. Okay, let's go over here. Let's do some of that. You already got Galleons. Uh, uh Galeas is actually. Yeah. Gunpowder. Bank. Uh, bank. Uh, bank. Next turn. Oh, look! I plundered your trade route! <laughs> Stop attacking my city. It's your turn, Charlie. I know, I'm over here still trying to just do something. Hey, I found a city-state! Yeah, you found a city-state. Where was it? Right there, next to Gandhi, on the other continent towards you. Such a shame when you cross that little stretch of water. And see the other half of the fleet waiting for your little scout. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> I wonder if this is why we stopped playing our last session. No, the reason we stopped playing our last session is because you had a baby. No, we stopped playing that before then. Uh, because work got kind of hectic for you? Um, not on the weekends. Uh. Great, I'm trespassing in Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem's a city state. Yep, Jerusalem is in fact a city-state. I know, I trespassed right on through it to get to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Is Motherfish close enough for that? No, it's not. <sighs> Motherfish is directly on the water. You pack it. Huh? You picked a very annoying place for me to have to attack you. Yes. I want you to know this. I know. <sighs> okay. Unit needs orders. Slave. Okay, there we go. Next turn. Stop attacking my city. Motherfish is on fire now. I see Why this. Why did you pick Judaism, by the way? Because my other, because the one I always choose is already taken. Well, I mean, I can tell you there's three forms of Christianity on my continent. I know. <laughs> and then one form of Confucianism. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jerusalem. You're literally just a one block island. Yeah, like seriously. Three three tiles, that's it. So I don't see them ever really having a way at all to do anything. Well, they do have two valuable resources on them, but that's pretty much the only reason. But you know, the real purpose for city states is to win votes in the World Congress. That's their only purpose. And when you get enough of them as captives in your diplomatic web, you can cheese the hell okay. out of the game. So you do realize I cannot trade or anything with you, right? Because I can't see your fucking city. You know yeah. that, right? So I can't offer any kind of declaration of friendship here. Why are you trying to destroy my city? There's no point in destroying it. None. Think about destroying it. Why are you attacking it? Why do you want a city that literally can't produce any money? Charlie, you have stone. You have a desert tile right next to the ocean. You have another tile right next to the river. Why is it that you chose to build a farm in the middle of desert lands 
with no access to water. I didn't choose that. That was just random. It See, did it on its own. why you don't tell your workers to automatically improve. I mean, it was going to be a farm either way, because it's a grassland. It can't be used for anything else other than a farm. Actually, it can. Like what? A market. I didn't have markets at the time. You wait. <laughs> just, just the silence there. So, how's the interior of Gandhi's continent looking? I'm not even on that continent anymore. What happened? I'm trying to get to the other continents. What other continents? Or at the other ones. I'm trying to get anywhere else. Oh, you you killed my little trireme. Yes, so. I did. Good, I have three more. <laughs> Stop attacking my city. No. So let's make peace. I'll throw some horses your way. I don't need horses. I'll throw some iron your way. I don't need iron. <laughs> I'll throw some cum in a bucket. <laughs> now that's not even appealing. I mean, I didn't, way, you Charlie, didn't say you had to do Charlie, anything with it. What? Char Charlie. What? No, I can't see what you're doing until you end your turn, right? <laughs> oh. Right. Um. Well, let's just say you weren't going to be happy about what I just did. Don't take my city. Well, it's too late. <laughs> I'll trade it back to you for everything you have. I don't have anything. <laughs> well, tough shit. <laughs> how do you even trade cities? You don't know how? No. Uh, well, first you have to be able to trade. Oh, look, a profit. I'll yeah. have to buy. He was literally just going there to just get rid of that other um, thing out of there. I think I'll spread it. <laughs> I'll spread the religion. <laughs> okay, now that foreign matters are over, time for a more domestic issue. Let me see. Take your turn and I'll send you a What did you capture? Motherfish. No, it said a unit has been captured. Oh, no, that was probably um, barbarians. Oh, by the way, thanks for the free worker. So you stole my worker. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Well, the worker was inside the city, is the thing. Deal proposed. Has offered me a deal. Hmm. Let me take a look at this deal. Peace treaty and accept embassy. Let's see. Yeah, let me just fire upon those little Weasley horsemen. And choose the production. Do, 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 do. Got a library. Choose production. University. Next turn. I think you'll find my demands are more than fair. You gonna give me the city along with it? <laughs> no. Silly Charlie. No, Motherfish is now mine. Because unlike you, I can actually defend it. Well... I was literally working on that. But I can't do nothing with it. 
if you literally Why? just take it all the time. Here's a better idea. What? How about... Oh, the enemy is near. I can fire upon a unit. Let me just do that. That's a profit. I know. Like, that's all it is. I know, it's getting fired upon. Why? Because when can you shoot upon territory. a prophet? You can always shoot upon a prophet. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep, and your prophet's dead. Because you can enter a territory with a prophet without declaring war. Yeah, yeah, you can. So did you accept my declaration of... Ah, good, yes. Wait a minute. Uh, no. I guess I'm going to be refusing this, then. Why do you, you want know what? Actually, Why no. do you want to take the city? Um, well, for a start, because your continent is very far away, and I really don't like having to boat all the way over here and cross through Gandhi's turf, so I'd much rather have a, a foothold in the continent. Why not just settle a city? Uh, because that involves moving a settler <laughs> and laying down a lot of infrastructure. It's much easier to let you do the work. You ain't getting you ain't getting no resources out that city. Okay, then I guess the war will continue until I start marching pikemen and swordsmen. From mother fish to your other cities. Or or would you prefer that I not do that? I would prefer that you didn't and we just you no know, got the um just traded the city back, damn it. <laughs> well that's clearly never going to happen. <laughs> See, Charlie, this is what I like to call big stick diplomacy. I have a very large stick, and if you don't agree to my diplomacy, I will be smashing you with it. 